Good morning, Whalers, and welcome to the CPS Pulse. My name is Vincent Travaglioni. And I'm Karen Johnson. Today is Friday, September 13th, and it's a day 2B. As you may know, our news club is going through a rebranding phase. That's right. We are now called the CPS Pulse, and we are going to be bringing you the news in a fresher and much cooler way every Friday morning. First of all, we are still looking for more students to come join our team. We need newscasters, writers, editors, and people to run the cameras. Come see Mr. G in room 29 if you are interested. <clears throat> we are also in need of a new logo. So we decided to have a contest for any students who wants to draw or digitally create some cool designs that we can use on our intro and background. Then just go ahead and submit your ideas to Mr. G or Ms. Hayford. All designs must be submitted by next Thursday morning, and the winner will receive a $25 Amazon gift card. Yeah, Here is a sample entry from a sixth grader, Max Galt. Wait, Mr. G, Mr. G. What, what is it? I'm in a hurry. All right. How do you feel about the new name, CPS Pulse? Oh, my God. Dude, it's going to be sick. The Pulse. It's a whole new thing. I got a credit. My uh, friend and colleague, Miss Freed, she came up with the answer. So we're starting the show next week, and right now we got a contest going on for a new logo design. Uh, some of our older kids are like, oh, don't change it, don't change it. We want the Whaler News Network, but no, it's the Pulse. Don't miss the Pulse. It's coming to a theater near you soon. Out. Thank you for your answers. You're welcome, sir. Bye. Hey CPS, my name is Ella Sylvia, and I'm going to bring you the weather forecast for this weekend. For the remainder of the day, we will probably see some partly cloudy skies with the temperature topping out at 72 degrees. Tomorrow should be a much nicer day with plenty of sunshine and a warm 73 degree temperature. There should be, a similar, there should be similar weather over in Carver where the Whaler varsity football team will be traveling for their second game of the season. Let's go Whalers! Then, on Sunday, there might be a touch of fall in the air with very sunny skies and the temperature only reaching 69 degrees, and then dropping Sunday night down to 59 degrees. Well, that's it for the weather, but I'm going to send some birthday shout-outs. Let's start with Addison Creation, who turns 12 today, and everyone's favorite math teacher, Mr. Weber, who turns 21 years old next Wednesday. Also... Yenny, Ileana, Raul, Malia, Brayden, and Brandon will all be celebrating next week. And now this. Good morning, CPS. My name is Tiana, and here's what's happening around the island this weekend. The Dreamland Theater will be presenting Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Reagan, My Penguin Friend, and Speak No Evil. Check the Dreamland website for times and tickets. The Theater Workshop of Nantucket will be presenting six dance lessons in six weeks at Bennett Hall. The Hollywood Reporter calls this show thoughtful, razor sharp, charming, funny, and genuinely moving. Check the Theater Workshop website for times and tickets. Tonight at the Athenaeum Library, you can do the self teen defense class with Nantucket Martial Arts Alliance, or you can sign up for the teen game night. There and finally, for the teachers, there will be a Dave Matthews cover band at the box Saturday night. Okay, that's the Pulse on the Weekend Update. Now back to Cameron and Vincent. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. G, and here's what's happening in sports. All of our CPS teams have been finalized. The football, soccer, field hockey, cross country, and club golf teams are all beginning to practice, so keep tuned into the Pulse next week for some updated scores. High school teams are already competing with the varsity football team, winning their opening game last Saturday as they beat Cardinal Spellman by a score of 14-7. to Go Whalers! Varsity field hockey opened their season with a big 3-1 victory over Dennis Yarmouth. The girls' varsity volleyball team started their season with a 3-1 victory over St. John Paul last Wednesday, but they followed up with a 3-0 loss to Sturgis on Monday. Finally, our beloved New England Patriots opened up with a huge upset last Sunday when they went to Cincinnati and beat the Bengals by a final score of 16 to 10. Also, college football, we cannot forget. The Alabama Crimson Tide, number four in the country, is now 2-0, and uh, they will be taking on Wisconsin tomorrow at 12 noon. Roll Tide! All right. That is the Pulse on Sports. Have a great day. 
Okay, folks, that's a wrap for our first edition of the CPS Pulse. We will be needing support from our sponsors to help us bring you this amazing content. So today, we will thank the Sea Grill, located at 45 Sparks Avenue. This amazing family-owned and operated restaurant has been serving our year-round community for 32 years, specializing in local and fresh regional fish, Fresh seafood, the Sea Grill serves dinner nightly and offers something for everyone. Have an awesome weekend. Please remember to take care of yourselves and each other, and most importantly, be, be kind, kind to one another. another. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's enough smile for you, Mr. D. Good smiles. Not with the teeth, Cameron. <laughs> you have braces now. Okay. Good morning, whalers, and welcome to the WCPS. Pulse. My name is... Cut. <laughs> Keep going! Muscle memory. Oh.